I was Empress Elizabeth of Austria, and I was murdered. Welcome to our Enchanted Mysterious Corner, where tarot cards come alive through storytelling. If you're intrigued by tarot's mysteries, but are finding it difficult to remember the meanings of all the cards, you're in the right place. In this series, we'll unlock tarot's secrets, card by card, with captivating stories to deepen your understanding, whether you're a beginner or a seasoned reader. Subscribing to this channel is free and it allows you to be notified each time I upload a new story. I was Empress Elizabeth of Austria, also known as Cece. In my youth, I was a carefree outdoors kind of girl. You'd often find me galloping my horse through the fields or hiking with my father. When I was 16, I married my cousin, Emperor Franz Joseph of Austria, the absolute monarch of the largest empire in Europe outside of Russia. It was at that moment my freedom ended. I wore 12 stars in my hair and crown, representing the 12 signs of the zodiac. My life was a tapestry of contrasts weaving between the burdens of imperial duty and a deep yearning for personal freedom. People have often compared Princess Diana to me, and I agree we have many of the same qualities and foibles. My beauty and grace were well known, but it was my commitment to improving the lives of my people that truly defined my reign. I worked tirelessly to foster harmony and cooperation, build strong relationships, and support those in need. My marriage to Emperor Franz Joseph, though complex, symbolized commitment and stability, and I endeavored to bring emotional support and unity to our court. But after the death of my oldest children, I felt so useless. In my grief, I started to travel, and I was determined to travel the whole world over until I drowned and was forgotten. But here is where the mystery begins. On September 10th, 1898, while I was in Geneva, a man I now know as Italian anarchist named Luigi Licini approached me on the sidewalk and stabbed me in the heart with a file. At first I didn't know what happened. I thought I had been punched and I lived for several hours before my life faded. Luceni was immediately arrested and claimed to have acted alone. He said he was motivated by a desire to strike against the aristocracy, but I don't believe it. There are rumors of a larger conspiracy, possibly planned by a secret society whose aim was to destabilize the empire by removing first my son Rudolf and then me in a deliberate act to disrupt the stability I had worked so hard to create. My life, they say, was one of beauty, harmony, and nurturing connections. My death was seen as a symbolic destruction of these qualities, fueling endless debate and speculation about the true forces behind my untimely end. My legacy endures as a symbol of beauty, harmony, and the power of empathy and commitment. Yet my tragic death serves as a stark reminder of the fragility of these qualities in a world fraught with darker forces. The mystery of my assassination continues to captivate and puzzle leaving an enduring question mark over the events of that fateful day. And so the mystery of Empress Elizabeth of Austria continues to be told, a tale of beauty and tragedy, of harmony and chaos, and of the eternal quest for understanding in the face of mystery. <laughs>